Hello, my name is Kirsty Lang. I'm one of the respiratory ACPs working here at Harrogate Hospital. This video is going to go through how to convert your patient that's on venturi to the nasal cannula. Now, the, the reasons that you might need to consider doing this is when your patient um, needs to eat and drink throughout the day, so you, you don't want to leave them without oxygen because they obviously need oxygen. Um, if they're using nebulizers, um, then you can also entrain oxygen through nasal cannula. And also, it's an alternative if your patient can't tolerate it, such as they get really claustrophobic. And so, so those are kind of the conditions that we would be mainly thinking about, do we need to switch our patient to nasal cannula? So what we have an example of here is a patient that is on 35% and we want to convert them to our nasal cannula. Now, to make sure that we do the right conversion, there are useful charts that are available. So this chart indicates to us what um, amount of flow needs to go through the nasal cannula for our 35%. And you will find this available on our internet available within medicines management and you'll often find these charts attached to many of the um, OBS machines as well just for that prompt and reminder. So for our 35% they've currently got 8 litres coming through the, um, the oxygen flow meter. Now according to our chart if we want to convert them to nasal cannula we want to put them on 4 litres. Now we don't want to leave our patient without oxygen because they are hypoxic and need this amount to support them. So the, I would make sure that I have everything available to us when we're starting to make that change. So make sure you get hold of your nasal cannula, um, open it from your packet, and I am going to explain to my patient what we're going to do. And what I will do is I'll come to my flow rate here. I will reduce that down to four litres, and I will then remove this and switch and push hard on with the nasal cannula. I will then come to my patient, explain to them that I'm going to change over the nasal cannula, remove the mask, and the way this works is it will see that it curls up into the nostrils. So I tend to hook it up into the nostrils, hook behind the ears, just excuse me, there we go, and then just tighten it under the chin. Another thing just to be cautious of, if a patient is on nasal cannula long term, is just to remember they can get little sores behind their ears, so sometimes they need a bit of cushioning and it's just a sight of pressure sores, so do be cautious of that. So once I've made that change, just because things can change, I would then go and just check that their SATs are, are within their target range as predicted. Um, and you can change, the, so the flow rate can go up to probably about 6 litres, but you do have this flow chart to um, prompt you if you are worried about the conversions which you will find on your machines. Thank you.